Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons episode. Nintendo just announced an upcoming July 2020 update for New Horizons. In this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about the update, and we're getting started right now. So looking at the release trailer, we can totally see right away the character takes a run off of the rock, does a little flip, into the ocean and I, I almost lost it when I saw this because that looks so cool so fun um, looks like she's got a little swimsuit on so I imagine that you would uh, in order to get into the ocean whether you flip into the ocean or even walk into the ocean um, I'm imagining that you'll have to have some sort of swimsuit on um, I'm sure there'll be a ton of different swimsuits even the trailer kind of looks like it shows this character uh, being in one swimsuit and then a little bit later the uh, character that's building a DIY recipe is in actually a uh, different type of suit so I'm sure there's going to be a whole wide variety of, of choices there but the the character actually takes a run does a flip gets into the water surfaces and then what's really cool after that is they swim out a little bit and you can start to see bubbles on the water and you can actually dive down and start to collect sea creatures and I thought this was awesome because that kind of adds a little bit of flavor to to uh, your gameplay. Okay, so now you can ha have the ability to swim out, grab these sea creatures, and donate them to the museum as well. And according to the official trailer, it looks like um, you know as you start to donate more and more, it starts to fill in and really help decorate your ocean scenes inside the museum. Now I want to take a step back just a little bit um, and and talk about the visiting character. So you're gonna you're gonna start to see a visiting character showing up in your oceans, uh, known as Pascal or, or Pascal. Just depends on you know what part of the world that you're in, how you want to say that name. Uh, but you're gonna be able to donate some of the items to him, and he'll actually give you the DIY recipe for various things. Okay. So if you if you go further with the trailer, you'll see that uh, there's a person that's building a DIY recipe and um, these are coming from Pascal. And so as the trailer goes a little further, you can see that there's an entire room that's built around all these seashells and this whole ocean scenery uh, type of vibe, and it looks really cool. Um, I, I can really see a lot of different island designs coming off of that type of inspiration. Now something that's kind of, um, I'll say strange or uh, something that was kind of unexpected was Gulliver showing up on your island. I mean, we're used to him showing up, but now it's, uh, it's showing that he's in a red suit. He's in a pirate suit, it looks like, and he's still doing his typical, you know, I fell down on the beach, I'm sleeping, leave me alone type of conversation. Um, but I'm curious to know what he's going to be giving us as, as far as uh, little quests or little things that we need to dig up. I wonder if it's going to still be the, the little microchips or if he's going to want us, want us to dig up something else uh, for a reward. And then again, towards the very end of the, uh, the uh, release trailer, you can see it coming in early August, the summer update number two, wave number two, and you can see the fireworks in the background. And, and so that immediately made me think, oh, we're going to have the ability to do fireworks in the game now. So I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm just like stunned because I'm, I'm thinking of some really cool, uh, you know, firework displays that you could do. I mean, I, I think it would look really cool in the night sky, kind of similar to how the shooting stars look really cool in the dark, on the dark sky. These fireworks would be a really cool addition and, and, and maybe uh, make it for uh, just a, a really cool time. Maybe there's other characters that are going to come in to the game and sell you these fireworks. Or maybe it's going to be kind of like Celeste where they only visit a certain, you know, random times of the, of the month or the week or whatever. And uh, you can, you know, you have to kind of uh, wait for them to show up. Uh, which would be really cool to have another character that's that's kind of like that for the summer. So anyways, that's it guys. Uh, that's that's kind of my analysis of the review trailer. There's a lot coming. There's a lot that we know. There's a lot that we don't know. Only time will tell um, as far as, you know, what things are really going to look like. Of course, when the update lands, I'm totally downloading it and I'm going to be uploading some videos showing you guys everything that you need to know about every detail of this thing. I want to show you guys what Pas Pascal is all about. I want to show you what the museum looks like when you when you uh, donate some of the items and, and just so much more. I'm going to I'm going to cover as much as I possibly can and uh, and share it with with all the all the community. 
So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And also come over and check out our Discord server. There's a huge community of people that love playing Animal Crossing, love trading, love doing all kinds of stuff with Animal Crossing related uh, things. And, and we would love to have you over there. Until next time, guys, take care.